Hello students. So today's March 17th and the problem of the day uh, says that the ratio by volume of milk to water in a certain solution is 3 to 8. If the total volume of the solution is 187 cubic feet, what is the volume of water in the solution? Explain your answer. So when we're talking about ratio, we're talking about uh, comparing two quantities. Um, for this problem, we are comparing two quantities. And those two quantities would be the volume of water and the total volume of the solution. Now, there's two ways to solve this. Um, it's either you use fraction or you use a table, a ratio table. Um, what I like, if you're a beginner, would be to use a ratio table because it's more organized. So this is what I would do. So we know that the ratio of milk to water is 3 to 8. So 3 belongs to the milk and the 8 belongs to the water because order matters. So milk to water, so this is 3 to 8. So what I'm going to do is draw a table. And make sure to label your tables. Um, it's helpful. So one is milk. One is water. And the other one would be the total volume of the solution. So once I have these, I can fill in the boxes. Um, here we go. So milk is three. And water is 8. When you say total volume of the solution, that means you're going to mix milk and water. So if you mix this two, 3 cubic feet and 8 cubic feet of water, that gives us 11 cubic feet of uh, solution. So we're adding them up, these two to get 11. Now it says here, if the total volume of the solution is 187 cubic feet, so this is so this 187 pertains to the total volume of the solution. So it should be under the column uh, on on the third column. So this should be 187. So if the total volume of the solution is 187 cubic feet, what is the volume of the water? So we're trying to find out the volume of this water. Now, now think. What did you multiply to 11 to get 187? If you don't know what factor to multiply, what you can do is use the information you have and then come up with the unknown factor. So if we multiply from 11 to 187, let's do the reverse, the inverse operation, which is 187 divided by 11. If you use your calculator, that should give you a factor of 17. So 17 is being multiplied to 11 to get 187. So since this is a factor to create equivalent ratios, we need to use the same factor that's being multiplied. So times 17 times 17. So 8 times 17, that should give you 136. Again, so 8 times 17 gives you 100, 137 cubic feet of um, water. Now, the other way of solving it is to use fraction. So again, make sure you label your fraction. So we're comparing two things. So we're comparing the, the volume of water to the total volume. Oops volume of the solution. So we know that the volume of water is 8 cubic feet and we know that the total volume of the solution is 11. I got 11 by adding 3 and 8. Now let's create equivalent ratios. So it says what is the volume of the water in the solution if the volume of the solution is 187. So this would be 187 cubic feet. Now the same thing. 
what did you multiply to 11 to get 187? So use whatever information you have to do inverse operations so you can get the factor, which is 17. Now multiply 11 by 17 and you do the same for your volume of water quantity times 17 and that gives you 136 cubic feet. So we still get the same answer. If you have any questions, you can just post a um, your question in the comment section. Um, I know I know some of you use cross products. I mean that's fine. Uh, for sixth grade, we haven't discussed that yet because we use equivalent ratio. I want you to understand the reason behind every action that we do to get the solution. Hope this helps.